This is my morning routine for success. So I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. I have my alarm set on my phone and I keep my phone away from the bed so that I actually have to physically get up and turn the alarm off. Once I'm standing up, I'm usually very thirsty. So I drink some water, I go to the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I get dressed, I get my shoes on and I get out of the door. As well as waking up at 5 a.m., I've also been doing the 20-20-20 formula, which is where you do 20 minutes of exercise, movement, 20 minutes of reflection, like journaling, and 20 minutes of growth, which is learning something new. Once I'm outside, I do some leg stretches. I grab my foot and pull it back. I lift my knee up and I pull at my foot to stretch out out my hips and I do a couple of lunges and I also do some front rocking on my feet as well on my tiptoes and on my heels after that I run around the block two times and sometimes I do some push-ups I do some star jumps this helps me break a sweat breaking a sweat is really important because what it does is it reduces the cortisol in your body which is your stress hormone and if you reduce that you will feel so much better throughout your day. You'll feel more relaxed, more calm. And then what happens when I get back, I'm exhausted. I'm sweating everywhere. And I just sit down on a rug and I just take some deep breaths, do some meditation for about 20 minutes. I think about my goals for the day, things that are going on in my life. I do some reflection. Sometimes I practice gratefulness. Gratefulness kills negativity. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for my amazing family and friends. I'm grateful for good health. I'm grateful for the endless opportunity in the world. I'm grateful for happiness, grateful for knowledge. I'm grateful for food, for water, and for shelter. At about 5.40, I will do 20 minutes of reading, and I like to read a book that is relevant to the work for the day because that will help add something new. Then between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., I spend one hour writing my book. It's a self-help business book. I can't wait to release it, I'm so excited. Then at 7 a.m., the kids come in, we have breakfast. Then after breakfast, about 20 past seven, the kids will be getting ready for school. I'll continue reading, a bit of self-care. Sometimes I like to do a hot flannel on my face, especially if I have got spots. And then about eight o'clock, we get ready to do the school run, get back, and that's when my dedicated four hours of high value work kicks in. So it's 10.15 and I'm having a little espresso. Love this stuff. But after 12 o'clock, I'm not allowed to have any more caffeine. Otherwise, I'll end up just not sleeping at the right time that I need to. And that will have a knock-on effect to my morning and I won't be able to wake up at five. And I try to actually limit myself to two caffeinated drinks per day. I'll have lunch and then I'll switch to my low value tasks, which is sorting emails and tackling social media things. So it's about five o'clock, which usually means that I take a 10 minute break from work, usually to go for a nice walk. So now it's about six o'clock. And what I do at this time is be a bit sociable, step away from the laptop, stop working and start thinking about dinner. Now it's 7.30, my alarm's just gone off, letting me know that it's time for me to stop working. It's time for me to go away from screens, away from my phone, away from my laptop, away from TV, I don't watch any TV past 7.30. The blue light can actually keep you awake at night. It can interrupt your REM sleep. It stops you getting into a deep sleep if you look at screens before bed. Occasionally I break this rule, but it's very important that I don't. I always get off my laptop at half seven, so I don't look at that anymore. But my phone sometimes, if I've got messages mm -hmm. popping up or calls from friends or family, it can be a bit difficult to not look at my phone. So it's half seven, which is dinner time. Sadie cooked tonight, she made rice, some fish, sweet corn, and a bit of pickled beetroot. At about half past eight, the children will go to bed, and I typically have one hour to myself before I go to sleep. Sometimes I really like to sit down on the sofa, think about my day, think about the choices that I've made throughout the day, think about how today could have gone better, and then I'll bring that improvement forward for tomorrow. So it's about nine o'clock, I'm just doing a bit of reading before I go to sleep. I am knackered, it's been a long day. I've got to get to sleep soon because tomorrow it all starts again. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and if you did, you will really like this video on screen now.